name is Cam, and today we're with Ms. Lewis, and we're going to read When Sophie Gets Angry, Really, Really Angry. This story is by Molly Bang, and special thanks to Scholastic for giving us permission to read this story. When Sophie Gets Angry, Really, Really Angry. Sophie was busy playing when her sister grabbed Gorilla. And her sister said, my turn. No, said Sophie. Yes, said her mother. It is her turn now, Sophie. As her sister snatched Gorilla away, Sophie fell over the truck. Oh, no. She tripped. Oh, Sophie is ever angry now. Look at her face. Look at her eyes. Look at her mouth. Is she smiling? No. She kicks. She screams. She wants to smash the world to smithereens. Look at all that. Her mouth is open. She's screaming and yelling. She's stomping. Making noises and yelling. And look at her cat. I think her cat is scared. Sophie's angry. Yeah. She roars a red, red roar. Oh, and look. Everything is moving. Wow. That's very angry. Sophie is a volcano ready to explode. And when Sophie gets angry, really, really angry, pa bam! She runs. And she runs and runs and runs until she can't run anymore. Then, for a little while, she cries. Now she sees the rocks, the trees, and the ferns, and she hears a bird. And there's that bird singing softly, tweet, tweet. She comes to the old tree. She climbs. She feels the breeze blow her hair. She watches the water and the waves. I think she's calming down now. She's not as angry. The, wa the wide world comforts her. So here she's able to sit here in the tree and she's able to watch the water helping her to relax and calm down. Sophie feels better now. She climbs back down and hands for home. The house is warm and smells good. Everyone is glad she's home. And so she comes in. She says, I'm home. And her arms are open, ready for a big hug. And there's her mom. And there's dad. And there's his sister. And they're happy that she's back. Everything's back together again. So there's the cat. There's mom and dad and Sophie and her sister and Gorilla. And they put together a puzzle. Nobody's angry anymore. And Sophie isn't angry anymore. She's painting. Sometimes things happen and we can get really, really angry. And it's okay to get angry. It's perfectly fine. But when we get angry, we need to think about things that we can do. We can take deep breaths and count to 10. We can sit and think about it. You can draw how you feel. You can find someone to talk to. What else do you think we could do, Cameron? Um, I think it's good to talk to people. Talking to people about your feelings, just being able to.